Tiger is probably going to try to take off, take out some frustration tonight against the Lions. Rosevear is first pitch swinging. Their center fielder, Singer, out in center fielder is not playing tonight. He still has some illness as everybody else is somewhat healthy. Eight and two thirds, no hit ball. Ooh, gave up a solo homer in the bottom of the ninth. He got the nine eight and one hit, one run. Book Jim, outstanding senior third baseman. Boom. Three up, three down. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. The wind blowing out a little bit to the right, which will help me. The wraps one the other way for a base hit. A sky is the color of a glacier freeze Gatorade. Ah. White can't swim the other way. That's down for a base hit. It's finally cut off in the corner and now bobbled by the right fielder. Deal was coming around. White stops at second base, and the Tigers have a one nothing lead on an opposite field two-bagger and an RBI by White. This ball, a mistake up in the zone. He just fights it off, goes the other way with it. It was He's just so good at pulling his hands in close to his body and runs this down bot, down the line, and then the error out there allows Neil to score. And Jerry Jones very patiently This should be a play for the shortstop. And Salvaggio squeezes it for the out one. Brome, Hayes, and O'Neill. And there's the first hit of the game, the first base runner for Southeastern, as Brome dumps that into center field. They're pitching off. Bullpenned. What a pickup sliding by Myron that he has no play anywhere. A liner just passed Braswell. In the left center, Lee over. Runners had to hold. Runners had to hold. And with the idea that Braswell might come up with that ball on the fly. Ah. Tap George Jones. He stabs it. He's going to get the out at first. But the Lions pick up the tying run. Trey Morgan, Brother Mark. They were teammates in high school. This ball has eyes up the middle. What a stop. No place to throw it. Now back to third. Tommy White applies the tag, but late. Milo Meg. A tremendous play. A call to third strength. And the Tigers get back to the buck out. This ball is driven deep. Way back. Earcut Packer out. And kiss that baby goodbye. As if Seidel's, Mulberg's, Wilnip, Theo Blanchard's, and Mac Pringham was for the fifth time this year. Has knocked one out of the yellow ring. Uh, 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 well, that was a bullet, man. That it was not one of those towering old runs. That was almost a, a high line drive. I mean, it got old. Of it. Boo! And that bitch is down. Bad bud to me. He could save. Hate Rob knew as soon as he hit it, it was gone. That went 402 feet. Just uh, skipper thought, nah, we got guys for that. For Aswell, Fonnells with a solid knock to left. So they're in their 26th game of the season. He goes the other way with a line drive. That's down on the grass and rolls all the way to the wall. Braswell is rounding third. You put on the brakes now. And Milan steams into second base with an opposite field double. That's his fourth two banner of the year. It's a five pitch pass. The one two leap. It's sharply to the first baseman. He'll take an out at second. Then they turn. It time for the double play. Wow. Now the angle's weird, and uh, you got, you know, a shortstop running towards the base. White shoots one deep to the right side. It's way up in the right field bleachers. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Home run number seven. And that one wound up way up in the right field bleachers. Tremendous opposite field power by Tommy Wack. All right, Tommy White now with his fifth home run in about a week and a half. And this is always a good sign when he starts hitting the ball the other way. It'll be swinging no matter where it was. That got him. Breaking ball on the elbow. Three balls, two strikes. Two on, two out. Swing and a miss. The inning is over. Steve right three called. He steered a breaking ball over. Definitely went up an octave uh, when he talking to his teammates. 
Rose Beer strikes out swinging. He got him swinging. Went back to the fastball and strikes out the side. Here's a scorcher to left. And it's off the wall. Pearson gets it back toward the infield. A ringing double off the bat of Brian Broom. That one turned Pearson around twice. Bingham retreating in a hurry. He locates it. He's got it. That ball was hit about 390 feet to straightaway center field and deep enough to allow Brome to move to third. Swing and a miss. That takes care of business. No errors for the Tigers. And Jared Jones is and Jared Jones is promptly hit high on the body. And Jones got hit three times. This ball is smacked very high. Very deep. That ball has gone into the witness protection program. Nobody's going to find it. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Wow. Trutvinsky. Last one. End of the night. That was a titanic shot. A hanging breaking ball spun right over the middle and Travinsky clicked on it. A towering shot, 391 feet. Beerson is aboard for the first time. 3.86 earn run average on the year and there's a little soft liner that gets down for Larson. The bunt is down. Out at first. It hit last time. Here comes a runner from third. The bunt is popped up. Oh, how about that play? They throw back to third for the out there. Brian Brome, who is a playing over at first base because Woods was pinch hit for no way diving in. I don't think he made that catch. Now, clearly, they're going to have to review this. It, it, it looked to me like from the naked eye that he caught. Catch or no catch? I mean, his glove is underneath the ball. That's a catch. To me, that's as clear as looking. But there's the plate on. Yeah, he did. At least he signals. He lays out it was down. He signaled safe, yeah. So he's staying with the call. They are obviously telling him that's not a replay situation. Yeah, that's one. The only reason they threw a third was to get the double play. Right, prized by that ruling. That's caught by Williams in right field. He's hit by a pitch. White hits it high. He hits it deep, but it is going to wind up in the glove of the right fielder on the warning track. Brown leaping. Did he get it? No, he did not. That is a line drive home run just out of the reach of the right fielder and a smash into the first row for Justin Williams. Now, Justin Williams, that's his fifth home run of the season. That ties him for the team lead with Shea Thomas. He takes a 97 mile an hour fastball, was sitting on it. A little backside swing, and you could see he's trying to wish it over the fence, and he does a liner right over the shell sign. Ansford had a big moment for himself. That's a one hopper past. Grasswell for a base hit. Thomas is first of the night. He's one for four. A great sign for Nate Yeski in this LSU pitcher staff. Brasswell backhands it, makes the play. Those are the most important numbers. Salvaggio gives this one a ride. It's hit deep to right field. It's at the wall. It's over the wall. Comrade number four for T.J. Salbaggio, who had an earlier single. He's now hit safely in eight straight games. How about that swing by Salvaggio? Now 
Southeastern trying to pull off an LSU from a couple of weeks ago. That time, got too much in the middle of the plate. They wanted to go inside. They leaked back over the middle. And then Salvaggio to Stephen Milam. And he is left at the plate looking, buying a couple extra inches for these pitchers. Who you know what covering? The out has made it first. And the Tigers have picked up the victory.